All right, it's finally Sunbelt game day. I saw these at the grocery store, some Krispy Kreme Dr. Pepper donuts. I had to get them. Uh, if you can see there, there's at least a few that are very football-esque. Uh, let's see if we can just break this open here and show you what one of these suckers looks like. Yeah, it's gonna be fantastic. You got a little field goal post. I guess those are supposed to be people in the background with the sprinkles. Um, and then, as you've heard in Ace Ventura, little footballs. So, I'm going to enjoy these today. And uh, thank you to Dr. Pepper and Krispy Kreme. And if you guys want some partnerships with a college football outlet, let us know. Now, let's eat some of these donuts. Little Dr. Pepper thing is edible, I think. Sure is. Tastes a little bit like Dr. Pepper too. No, I'm not sharing these with anybody. I'm gonna eat all six by myself. That's a good donut. I'm gonna save the football for last. I'm gonna go with the um a field goal post next. Should have brought some water or some milk. He needs some milk, and I do. On tap tonight for the Sun Belt, we've got ULM hosting Jackson State. Should be a good one. We're going to see a lot of new stuff because ULM's got a whole new roster and a new head coach there in Brian Vincent. Uh, expect good things, though. Maybe a little bit sluggish start as they try and gel as a team and learn how they're going to do this and attack this new regime, if you will, uh, with the head coach and all the new players. And then we've got Coastal Carolina traveling to Jacksonville State uh, because I wanted to spell that out because a lot of people get confused between Jackson State and Jacksonville State. But yes, two different teams, two different places they're playing tonight. Jacksonville State is located in Jacksonville, Alabama, not Jacksonville, Florida, or Jacksonville, North Carolina, or whatever other state houses a city by the name of Jacksonville. So two great matchups tonight. If you're really looking for the upper echelon of the group of five, certainly check out the Coastal Carolina Jacksonville State game. Uh, and if you're looking for a game that should still be very good, check out ULM versus Jackson State for sure as well. Um, there's going to be some talent on the Jacksonville State side or Jackson State side. See, I did it myself. But the Jackson State team went seven and four last year. A really good player from them. Previously, T.C. Taylor is now their head coach, uh, so he's going to go out there with a lot to prove, following in Coach Prime's footsteps, so a lot for both teams to play for, and I don't want to see ULM lose at home in this first one. I think it's vitally important they win it. Hopefully, they do. I'll be tuning in and checking out that one for sure. All right. Looks like a little cream-filled donut, uh, football donut, that is, so let's see what this one's like. Okay, your Krispy Kreme donuts, so they're never bad. My quick review, out of all three, is actually probably that the Dr. Pepper donut tasted the best. With the field goal post one, there's a ton of sprinkles. Kind of just takes away from a lot of the flavor. And the football one has cream in it, uh, white cream. And otherwise, it's just kind of a, a more doughy. Uh, donut. So I'm going to say the, the Dr. Pepper one, kind of simple, basic look to it, but probably the best tasting one. So if you're in an area down here in the South where you've got Krispy Kreme, go check these donuts out. Very good. And uh, be sure to get you the Dr. Pepper version. And here's the aftermath. All six are now gone. I feel great. Or not. <laughs>